Hello and welcome to IT Security Labs. Today we're completing day two on Advent of Cyber Challenge from Try Hack Me. Every day until Christmas, we are learning a new skill or something new that might help us in our careers in cybersecurity. Day two is about logo analysis. And as you can see here, I already hit the start machine button and we'll be analyzing logs using Python. So if you have not done so, I encourage you to read through all this here, it really helps you to understand how Python and data science might be used in manipulating data. Because being able to manipulate data, especially for a cybersecurity professional, is a skill that is very helpful because every time you run into data, you need some ways to pass through that data. In this case, we're going to be using Python in Jupyter Notebooks. So how does this work? Well, they gave us a walkthrough here. That shows us how to use Jupyter Notebooks. I've used them before, so I still read this, but I, if this is your first time, this will be a good walkthrough that will show you how Jupyter Notebooks works. But for our, for our sake here, we're going straight into the challenge where we need to be able to interact with data that was given to us. In this case, we're given a machine. So let's scroll up all the way to the top, show split view. We can use it this way, but for my sake, I'm going to actually view full screen because it's easier that way. And once we view in full screen here, we have network traffic that's given. So if I double click on the first one, we notice that these are packets. You can scroll all the way to the bottom. There's hundred packets of different types of traffic. Then if we go to the notebook, this is where we we'll use Python modules, Panda, to interact with that data that's in the network traffic here. And in order for us to interact with that data, we need first to import Pandas. And pandas allow us to interact with data, manipulate the data, and even query it using Python. It's a Python module that we are using here. So as you can see, we already have some examples of how you can interact with panda. In this case, we're using the head command to just display the first five packets. But let's go to what is being asked of us. First question for us was, open the notebook, workbook located in the place. Okay, we did that. How many packets were captured? looking at packet number. Well, I saw that there was 100 when I was scrolling down, but what we can do is we can just come here and say, well, they're already using pandas. And for data frames, they're calling them DFs. And here they give us an example, dfs.count. So I'll just do that. Okay, so let's just copy that one. I mean, this is data frame.count, but they shortened this to DF when we imported it. So that's all we need to do. And then let's run it. We'll get some results here. Let's scroll down. We see that there's 100. Okay, I'm to the next one. What IP address sent the most amount of traffic? Well, um, we're still going to be using the same DF. Uh, we need to know the sales for the IP address is either source or destination. In this case, they are looking for the one that sent the most traffic. So that's going to be the source. So instead of saying df.count, we can say df. Actually, they gave us here the example. So let's copy that. Okay, but in this case, our column name is IP address. Oh no, it's source. And we need to change this to be DF. And we can run it. All right, so as you can see, uh, we can try to sort this, but these results are not too many. The highest one is 10, 10, 1.4. 10.10.1.4. .10 All right, what is the most frequent protocol? So it looks like we're doing the same exact thing, except instead of um, source, we'll be asking for protocol. So let's uh, modify this. Okay, so instead of source, let's change that to protocol. And then once it's done, let's run it. And out of these protocols, we see that ICMP is the most, which is 27. So there was a lot of ICMP traffic. ICMP. Then submit, then we completed it. There is also a logo analysis room that you can complete. Otherwise, this was a fun challenge learning about how data science can be used in logo analysis other than using SIM solutions. So if you like this and you want to follow along until Christmas, please subscribe, like this video, and let me know in the comments if there's something that we missed. Otherwise, thanks and have a good one.